Hey folks, it's Byron. I'm here to testify for Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to cover a dream I had last night. Actually, early morning this morning. Today is March 31st, 2019. <clears throat> in this dream, I saw the results of flooding in a house owned by people who live in Decatur, Alabama. I couldn't recognize the house as their house today, but I knew the people and I know that they live in Decatur, Alabama. <clears throat> I was in the backyard and this is what I saw from the backyard. To the right, as you're looking toward their house from their backyard, to the right, their neighbor's houses. There was four or five neighbor's houses. Those houses had sunk down to the point, I thought maybe it was only rooftops remaining. But what had happened is the earth had given way and part of the neighborhood was on one level, part of the neighborhood was on the other level. I think that was due to washing, uh, water washing dirt away or the foundations just literally right out from under the house. <clears throat> also in the backyard, back behind their yard, there was a ravine that had been cut. It was fresh cut by rushing water, no vegetation in it whatsoever. It looked kind of like a mini Grand Canyon. It, it was probably 20 feet deep. And portions of their backyard had holes in it, like a, a sinkhole, except you could look through the hole into the ravine. So there was a like a, an existing ledge of their yard, almost like a natural bridge. Um, so you could tell the waters, when they rushed through there, they had been rushing really hard and had caused significant damage. And then the, one other thing I want to add is <clears throat> I did ask in the dream, are those houses okay? Talking about the neighbor's houses. And the response was, yes, they're okay. So I don't know what caused the shift other than just water rushing, you know, soil that's well underneath the house away. That's the only thing I can think of that possibly caused that. And, and then I woke up. Some of the afterthoughts of, after waking up, those people were not repentant. You know, it, it's like they did not connect. This flood could be a, a warning from the Lord to bring me to repentance. There was none, none of that in, in their mind in their actions or anything like that. The other thing too is that in the in Thyatira, if you look in the second chapter of Revelation and read about Thyatira, the scripture says that Jesus, I mean Jesus actually states, uh, if these people don't repent or because they suffer that woman Jezebel or I would say false teachers, um, if they don't stop, that he will put them into great tribulation. And from this dream, what I, I saw was unrepentant after a flood, which potentially would mean I'm going to keep doing things as normal, which would bring further problems up to tribulation to maybe uh, bring that church repentance. The other side of the coin is some of you people that are listening are prepared to instruct others and are being prepared to instruct others. We're kind of all in that same category. Um, these people possibly will not come to the point of being teachable until things get really rough. So, uh, if you are one who's being prepared by God to teach others, but right now you seem the, the climate is so off, the, the culture is so off, uh, the tough times and the tribulation will be used to soften some of the people up to the point that they are, in fact, teachable. So I'm going to let you go. That's what I saw last night. Some of my thoughts on the matter. I'm not saying... Any of my thoughts, anything after what I covered after the dream, any of those thoughts are, you know, thus said the Lord or anything like that. They're just thoughts that I had that I wanted to add uh, on to it. They may, may be accurate. They may not be accurate. So, thank you.